Matter is everything around you. Matter is made up of atoms and molecules. It is anything that has mass and takes up space. People describe objects in many ways using shape, size, color, and texture. These are an object's properties. A property describes how an object looks, feels, or acts. A mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically united and do not exist in fixed proportions to each other. Most natural substances are mixtures. A mechanical mixture is a combination of two or more substances that no matter how hard you stir or mix, they still remain as separate substances lying beside each other. The materials that are mixed together aren't made into one. When the components of a mixture are uniformly intermingled, or when a mixture is homogeneous, it is called a solution. Aqueous solutions, those containing water, are the most common solutions. Alloys are basically a mixture of two or more metals. You can also have alloys that include small amounts of non-metallic elements, like carbon. Metals are the key thing to remember for alloys. The main idea with alloys is that the combinations work better together than any of the metals do alone. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture of two or more substances. In a suspension, very small pieces of solid are spread throughout a liquid but do not dissolve. If left still, the solid pieces will separate from the liquid and either fall to the bottom or rise to the top. Sand and water is a suspension. Suspensions may separate quickly or may stay suspended for a long time, depending on what they contain. A pure substance is matter with a unique set of properties. It can be either an element or a compound. An element is a material which cannot be broken down or changed into another substance using chemical means. Elements may be thought of as the basic chemical building blocks of matter. An element can be either a metal or a non-metal. You will be looking at the periodic table in depth further on in this course. A compound is a substance formed when two or more chemical elements are chemically bonded together. Elements in any compound are always present in fixed ratios. Compounds can be shown with chemical formulas. They contain symbols of different elements and the elements are always in the same ratio. The properties of compounds are always different than the properties of their elements. For example, hydrogen is an explosive gas. Oxygen makes things burn, but together they form water, which is a clear liquid that puts out fires. Here we see matter divided into mixtures and pure substances. The mixtures could be solutions, suspensions, or mechanical mixtures. Pure substance can be either elements or compounds.